What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel And guys, I want to start off by saying happy Halloween We are, I'm not sure if I'm going to post this on Halloween or like right around Halloween But it's going to be right around Halloween, it's about that time, it is the season, tis the season And so to finish off October, I want to do a Halloween themed video Last year I did uh, Fight Like Blade because Blade is one of my favorite characters in comics And he's advanced Vampire, which makes him that much more awesome well half vampire because vampires are amazing they're like super dope not talking about you Twilight but regardless today we're gonna be doing a different vampire one on the DC side of things we're gonna be talking about vampire Batman from the Justice League Gods and Monsters film if you haven't seen that definitely check it out after you watch this video or before you watch this video because I mean I'm not gonna talk about spoilers of the film but footage will be played so So this Batman is not actually Bruce Wayne. This is actually going to be Man Bat. If you if you've been around the Batman comics and read Batman comics and video games and movies, the Man Bat in this story has is slightly different. He's been changed into a vampire instead of a giant bat creature, and instead of being a villain, is actually recruited by Superman in this world to be part of the Justice League. And this Justice League's morality is more questionable than the others. Jail, jail. Yeah, more more questionable. But because of this difference, there are two very big factors in this Batman's fighting style. Number one is that he relies on powers a lot more than the regular Batman because obviously Bruce Wayne doesn't have powers except for prep time but that that's different so this Batman is going to rely on his enhanced strength and enhanced speed and enhanced healing a lot more than you know other Batman would the second key factor of this Batman is that he is not incredibly well trained going from scientist to homeless to Justice Leaguer there was no time for him to actually get training like Bruce Wayne has and so because of this he has a more basic fighting style compared to the other Batman Batman in the DC Universe. Now this Batman will rely on speed in all aspects of his fighting. For his defense he almost never actually blocks an attack, he never directly blocks an attack. He almost always will move out the way, dodge and evade any attacks coming his way. Even though he may get attacks coming from humans which are significantly weaker than him, instead of taking the hit which he probably could do or just directly blocking the hit which again probably could do he will always choose to evade and move around those techniques just because he is so fast speed i am speed <laughs> He also will use throws often. Those are the first things he really does. He'll use his strength to his advantage, especially when he's just starting out as Batman or as a vampire, whichever one you want to call him. <laughs> he uses his throws to throw people into walls, knock them out, push them against things, push them through walls. All of those, you know, strength related throws, that's what he does in the beginning until he gets more comfortable with his fighting. As Batman matures and grows with the Justice League, you can see the jump from when he first got his vampire powers and was mostly throws, and changing it into a punch-oriented and heavy kick-oriented fighting style. He prefers a boxing style of fighting mixed with some kicks, using his jabs, crosses, hooks, and haymakers to set up opponents for a more powerful kick, especially when they're stronger than him. This allows him to use his strength and speed adequately even though he's not trained in martial arts of any kind to my knowledge. And if I'm wrong about that, I'm sure you guys will let me know down in the comments. Now like I said, he uses his hands to set up for his kicks. Now his kicks are almost entirely jump kicks, whether it's jump side kick, jump back spin kick, jump round, whatever it is, it's almost always going to be a jumping kick and that allows him to really use his strength. Uh, that he was given when he was turned into, you know, a vampire. So now that we've got this far, let's go into some combos that you can practice to kind of train like Vampire Batman. 
Alright guys, so it's time to get into the combinations and these are going to be a little bit complicated for those of you that have not uh, been in martial arts or have any training before. So if you have any questions about the individual techniques I'm using, definitely check out the tutorials that I do. I'll leave links somewhere in the video for you guys. I'll try to leave the links. Um, if I don't, remind me down in the comments and I'll get to it. But these will be a little bit more complex than the majority of tutorials that I do at the end of these videos. So just keep that in mind. All right, so for the first one, we're gonna start off with two dodges using our speed and our reaction to dodge two punches. So the first one is gonna be coming at our head. You're gonna to step to the outside, just like that. Just a quick step, letting the punch come past you. The second one will be a second punch at your head and it's gonna go underneath it, just like that. So again, punch one, dodge, hook two, coming underneath. Now, from there, you're, you've come underneath, you're gonna use your right hand to, to sock them across the jaw, hitting the hinge of the jaw, jaw, and this is going to set up for your kick. So, just so we get all the same page, one, two, three, now you're going to rotate the, to the right, throwing a jump back spin kick, like that. All together, it'll look something like this. Now for our second one, we're gonna be doing a more aggressive dodge coming straight in. So they're punching at our face, you're going to duck underneath it, and with your right hand, you're gonna throw that jab into, or cross, not jab, you're gonna throw that punch into their solar plexus, ducking under their punch. So it's gonna be one, just like that. So once you get that first punch, you're going to take your left hand and across the head, just like that, with that hook. Now imagine you're hitting a target, they get hit, they're gonna bend over like that. So they're opening their head for their next attack. So one more time, you're gonna jump under, one, two, and then for our third punch, you're gonna take your right hand and come uppercut to underneath the head, underneath the jaw right there. So one more time, it's gonna be one, two, three, then to finish off your opponent, you're going to take a step with your left leg, throw your right knee in the air as high as you can and do a flying side kick to drop them. So going nice and slow, it's gonna be one, two, three, step up, bang, just like that. All together, look something like this. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want you all to have a great Halloween. Enjoy all the candy you get, and make sure you brush your teeth because nobody likes cavities. But don't forget to do all the normal YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.